Tai here, so welcome to the VRTech channel. It's Friday and many things happened in VR this week and of course we're here to talk about it. It's actually been a while since the last time we made a video about news, but this week was very particular indeed because we had some shadow updates increasing the performance of our Quest 3 and Quest 3S, some copium added for the Valve Deckard, Steam Link getting officially updated with support for end tracking, and most of all Google preparing the store for the arrival of some XR devices. So I'll discover this and more together in this video. Let's get into it. All right, let's start right away with the report from Upload VR regarding the silent and stealthy update from Meta that actually increased the performance of the Quest 3 and the Quest 3S, increasing the maximum GPU clock speed. This actually happened a month ago without any announcement where Meta gave more power to the developers, giving them more power directly with every one of our headsets. Clocking our devices chips it a bit higher than before. Because before this firmware change, the maximum GPU frequency was 544 MHz by default or 599 MHz when developers decided to actually favor the GPU instead of the CPU, a trade-off to actually have more power to the graphics. But after this change, the maximum frequency will actually be 599 MHz by default or 640 MHz in favor of the GPU. The reason is that Meta actually keeps the clock speed a bit lower than what they should to actually avoid like, you know, thermal problems with these headsets with the fan noise going wild or just getting hot and start to throttle. They were actually noticed though that even the most heavy graphic wise games uh, weren't actually throttling that much to use the highest clock speed for pretty much 85% of the playtime. So they were able to unlock a bit more power to actually give more possibility to developers to actually eye up the resolution of games, of course, if they use dynamic resolution or anyway, as they want to actually have a, you know, better graphics in general. This firmware update, by the way, arrived on the Quest 3 and so also on the Quest 3S because they share the exact same chipset and is nothing new because that happened two times already also with the Quest 2 and the Quest Pro where they readjusted the power uh, that developers had available in form of the clock speed. So yes, yeah, same hardware, more performance, it's all our game. What's not getting much though is Meta itself because the Reality Labs part lost this quarter 4.4 billion dollars. That, that's quite a lot. It's nothing to worry about though, Meta is not going anywhere. This is kind of part of the plan because they are investing a lot in VR development and they are developing mixed reality development to actually create, you know, the hardware or the future. And uh, they're not making much money even selling our headset because I'm pretty sure these are sold all lower cost. Actually, Meta have the money that they make from the hardware in sales on the store directly to start to grow the platform. I connect with so that they're working on very futuristic stuff like the over $10,000 Meta Orion glasses and those look absolutely majestic. So yeah, they're losing a lot of money but it's kind of a plan to actually create a platform of the future and luckily they're investing on it. And now this is interesting because right now, of course, Meta doesn't have a really a competition on the XR market. Uh, we have Apple with the Apple Vision Pro but it, it's like not really comparing Apple to Apple's. Pun absolutely intended. So yeah, I was getting in the market is Google that is preparing apparently this store for the arrival of new XR devices. It was spotted by the Android Authority on the store where for some applications you'll be able to actually select an XR device that, that didn't exist just yet. And when trying to buy apps with that device selected, it will tell you that those were not available for the device. And this is very interesting because on the side, it seems that they're gonna use the Play Store directly in their XR device that by the way, it seems to be made in collaboration with Samsung Direct. Directly. On the other side though, it's a bit concerning because it seems like they're gonna use the same method that Apple is using on their apps on their store, where you can use some iPad apps and some are not gonna be compatible, even if it could run without any problem because we have pretty much the same chipset and the same operating system. Maybe we're not gonna be able to run every single app on the Android store on our XR devices. And by the way, from some patents and leaks that disappeared online, of course, and that I'm not authorized to actually see them, it seems like they were spotted uh, some patents talking about a kind of glasses is more similar to what the x glasses are, the Rokid Max glasses are, and not really like just a standalone VR 
headset. So it seems they're going more in the direction of still using your phone as a computing unit for your glasses. And having a pair of glasses is actually light enough to wear for more time. If it has a good visual, it will be actually a very good idea. Of course, hopefully Samsung and Google are not gonna gatekeep uh, the ability to use those headsets with just their devices. We're gonna have to see. Something is arriving though for sure in CES is around the corner, so let's stay tuned, shall we? And talking about things never arriving, like Deckard, the headset that should arrive from Valve directly to actually substitute the index, and probably it would be a standalone headset with the actually PC hardware inside. Somewhere things an update arrived to Steam VR where the option button became a power button. The Valve Index is again out of stock completely, so you cannot buy the full set. I mean, it will be very interesting to see something happening for the holiday season. Bear in mind, this is just free copium for me and you because we know nothing about it. Are you waiting for the Deckard? I think we really need some new headsets and uh, this year like we got so many. Let's keep going. Steam Link also received an update for hand tracking directly. So if you're using it with your Quest 3 or Quest 3S, you're gonna be able to use hand tracking in there as well to actually play your games using your hands instead of a controllers. And again, it seems like they're preparing everything to be ready for Deckard. Now we're almost done with this. This is small news that I wanted to share with you because uh, it seems like Microsoft is actually hiring again for Windows Mixed Reality for some weird reason because we talked about in a video uh, previously on the channel where they're actually deprecating completely the platform and if you update to the latest operating system, uh, the 24H2, uh, where you're not gonna be able to use Windows Mixed Reality anymore. Uh, making your headsets pretty much like, you know, bricks. So it's kind of weird that they're actually looking for jobs right now. The answer could be Holidays, for example, that is an active contract with the military uh, in the US. But we also know they're buying micro OLED displays directly from Samsung to, you know, make a new headset. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm not gonna be very happy of that platform anyway, because they treated Windows Mixed Reality people like crap and uh, they don't deserve for me any support in the new platform. Also, if you had the Windows Mixed Reality headset or if you, if you didn't have it and you want to support uh, the platform, uh, there's actually a petition I'm going to leave in the link in the description below. Uh, it was, didn't exist when I actually made a video about this uh, situation with Windows Mixed Reality, but it's actually to ask Microsoft to, you know, make Windows Mixed Reality open source instead of breaking the headset of every single person that has one right now. It's halfway to 5,000 signatures, so if you can get some time to do that, uh, please do so, we'll have many people around. But anyway guys, about the latest news, I don't usually feature games on the channel much, but Humans Full Flat actually got a VR port for the MetaQuest 3, MetaQuest 3S, and it looks absolutely fun and amazing uh, with a puppet mode, so you're gonna be able to move uh, your, you know, little character in third person, moving with the controllers. Uh, it seems super fun, the flat version was a ton of fun, I played that a lot, and you know, this one looks like a cool one to check out. But here we have it guys, those are like big news for this week, I wanted to share with you because the platform VR is like growing and growing completely. So many new players are bound to arrive uh, to our platform and I can't wait to see how everything is gonna evolve with Meta finally having competition directly with Google. Hopefully we need competition. And you know, Meta making our headsets more powerful every single time. It's just super cool. If you wanna make your headsets even more powerful and have better graphics already right now on your control, you can check the video over here on how to do it, but so far for today is all. If you like the video, like. If you didn't like the video, like. Subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech. If you love the channel, join the button on there. Little on further, also the Patreon. Thanks for the Patreon. So join the channel, of course. And I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.